The months of massive candlelight protests demanding scandal ridden Park geun removal from the top office were largely seen around the world as a peaceful movement for democracy, social justice and the rule of law. For our news feature tonight, Oh Soo-young sheds light on how the surge of civic spirit is expected to usher in needed changes in the political realm, starting with the presidential election set for early May. There are just 54 days until Koreans head to the polls to vote for a new head of state. Following Park Geun-hye's impeachment last week, an early presidential election has been called for the 9th of May. That's the deadline set by the Constitution, which says an election for a new leader must be held within 60 days of a leadership vacancy. Also, as the former president was removed from office under a court ruling, the new president will be instated immediately after the election, instead of after a transition period. People in Korea who cannot vote on election day will have the chance to vote early on May 4th and 5th at any polling station in the country. For overseas Koreans, the polls will open two weeks earlier from April 25th to the 30th. So with the election date now on the calendar, the countdown has officially begun for the presidential hopefuls. They must resign from their official posts 30 days before the election, and they'll have to go through their respective in-party procedures before they can register as candidates in mid-April. These are routine procedures, of course, but this election is expected to be anything but a standard affair. Many hope it will be a gateway to a brand new era in Korean politics. Given that people power has brought about a change of government, their expectations are higher than ever. If these expectations aren't met by the next administration and its policies, another civic movement could arise, which makes political reform more crucial than anything else. In fact, data shows that Koreans are moving away from traditional political alliances. Compared to past elections, when the political spectrum was divided by long-standing bipartisanship, more Koreans have shifted to the center this time around. Conservative or liberal, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. I just want to pick the lesser of the two evils. The person who is less corrupt, someone who is rational. So what do Koreans want from the president to be? We want transparency and integrity. I think those are the most basic traits that all people should have, and they're essential qualities for a leader. A leader who not only listens to the people, but acts on the people's opinions when we raise our voices. This calls for a radical change in the very nature of the country's leadership, which has largely been described as imperial. A unilateral or autocratic style of presidency no longer accords with the people. It seems that the new leadership will be evaluated on its interactions with the public, a warm and active style of communication that responds to the people's needs. The basic philosophy of the presidential system is the separation of powers. The president is supposed to fulfill their duties based on checks and balances. But up till now, the president has wielded absolute power, while other political organs and actors became subject to that. That doesn't comport with the spirit of our constitution, and the recent impeachment ruling reflects that. After enduring the scandal that rocked the nation, what Koreans want and need is a president who will bring about stability and unity. We need a president who will unite the people by engaging in real-life politics. Instead of focusing on sweeping the election with populist tactics, candidates must lay out promises they can keep that seek to resolve problems in the day-to-day -day life of the average citizen. Experts say these reforms, if realized, could bring about a progression to a better democracy. We have not fully respected or fulfilled the happiness of the socially weak or minorities across the legal, physical, political and social spectrums, leading to social inequality and polarization. So it is the role of the next president to engage in social economic inclusiveness by reining in the privileged class and empowering the socially vulnerable to bring about democratic progress. In the end, it all comes down to the voters. Many observers hope that the spirit of the candlelight rallies will continue to embolden the Korean public in their demands for a robust and functioning democracy. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.